Hey, what's up everybody? Figma today introduced new auto layout features. At first, you might be super confused how they work, but fear not, I have a very simple guidelines that will help you use it like a pro. In this video, I'm gonna use terms like parent and child to illustrate hierarchy. I hope nobody will get offended or anything. It's just easier to illustrate how these things work in Figma by using these terms that everybody knows. One thing to keep in mind is you can affect how children resize within parent container both horizontally and vertically. And what I'm about to say applies for both. The main thing that will help you understand how new auto layout works is how actually parent and child work with each other as a team. I think the best way to explain these things is to go through features each of those have and what can you do with each. So let's start with parent and uh, its features. So what you can do with parent entity is next. You can adjust space between children in a parent container. You can also adjust padding as well as individual padding and this is a novelty with auto layout. This is a very handy feature and once you'll need it, you're definitely gonna know that you need to use this feature. And the last thing you can do with parent entity or container is adjusting position of children. Now you have a little bit more flexibility than before, but this option was previously available in children's settings. But now they moved it to parent, so you probably need to get adjusted to a few things. And also, I previously mentioned in my videos that you can just press enter after you selected a parent container and use arrow keys to kind of move the children around. Unfortunately, that is gone now. The main thing you're gonna do with children entity within parent container is resizing or in other words, how they behave within parent container. One option is to set children container to hug whatever content they have within them. Then you can expand child element to the width or height of a parent container. And the last option is to use fixed width, that's pretty much full auto mode and you need to do all the manual work to adjust everything. You can use this new feature with auto layout however you want in infinite ways. It's very hard to go through, I don't know, 20 examples and show how it might work because it's really endless when it comes to possibilities with this tool and it's up to you. But what's important is for you to understand the mechanics of this new tool and this is what this video is for. And this is a wrap. This is all you need to know about this new auto layout feature. If you have any comments, please post them in comment section below and remember to subscribe. It helps a lot. And also, if you're into podcasts, please check out my podcast called Design Party. Also, we can connect on social media if you prefer to have communication there. And until next video, Chowski.